with Kate. Hello. This is your right hand side, right? Oh, right. Okay. Oh, all right. Left. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Hi. Uh, this will be an examination for um, ENT and then respiratory. Okay. We are going to start with. My name is. Trauma Sylvia Wallace, and this is my patient, Michael Wallace. Is that where I say hello? <laughs> I was trying to give all the lines to you. Okay, so, um, first thing first, we're going to start with inspection and palpation. This is going to be very fast and quick. I'll try and make it in one video. I know it's really, really long, and you have a lot to grade. So, I will talk through most of it. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the eyelids. Um, you're going to be holding the paper for me, okay? At some point. Dang it. Okay, so the eyelids, it's going to be entropion and ectropion. And we're going to see if the eyes are. I use a flipping out or inward, which if it's flipping out, outward, it will dry up your eyes, and if it's inward, it's really uncomfortable. So, yeah. And I'm going to check if it's not drooping and no tremors. So, your eyelids, everything is smooth and straight. Open your eyes for me. It's not drooping. Everything looks good. And there's no tremors, like jittery feeling. No. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to check the hairs and the eyelash, if everything is dense and well um, populated. Same thing up here. Looks good. And we're going to check the sclera, sclera. I call it sclera. Mm. <laughs> what do you call it? I would, I've never tried to pronounce it, but the, the white sclera. part of my eyeball. Yeah, sclera. Sclera, I guess. Yeah, sclera. We need to take the sclera of the eyes. Open your eyes. Okay, everything is white. No pink anywhere, or red eye. Okay, everything is clear. There's no inflammation or lesion. All right. Hey, don't laugh. Let me check all those things. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check for the iris, the color, and the symmetry. So, this will be the test if you oh, can tell me what my real eye color is. It's green. I know you have blue eyes, but I see green. I'm colorblind. Okay, it's greenish blue. We can agree on that. <laughs> okay. So, um, look at me, look straight. It's symmetry, okay, good. And then we're going to check for the um, cornea, clarity, opacity, and ulcerations. So, cornea. I'm gonna creep you out. <laughs> that's, just open, good. that's good to know. Just open your eyes. I'm, I'm good. I'm yep, there. I see the white transparent part covering your uh, pupils and iris. So that looks good. The clarity is good. It's all clear. All right. And we're going to check for the conjunctiva. That is lower lid color from discharge to make sure that everything is fine. Okay. So it's gonna be uncomfortable a little bit. Okay, nice and big. Sorry. Nice and big. And then we go check the edge here. No pulse coming out or discharge. Lord above. <laughs> okay. Mm, sorry. Oh, you poked in the eye today. Oh. Okay, so let's go ahead and check for the global conscious. Gently touch the skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
perfect. So close your eyes. I'm going to palpate around with your eyes. Close them. Mm -hmm. Everything is smooth. Do you feel any pain? Tenderness? Mm -hmm. Okay, no lesion. Everything is smooth. Nothing is bulging out. Okay. Let's move to the lacrimal gland. Do the eyebrow, pat it, move hard, no discharge. Okay, did that. All right. Okay. So, the eyebrows is fine and the eye corner, we palpate it to the eye corner and there's no discharge. Let's move over to the pupillary light reflex pillar. Okay, so first one we need to do uh, size and symmetry. And we're going to check the, the pupil. I can barely see, so I'll come over here. Look straight ahead. Yep, same size. All right, and symmetric. And let's check the reaction to light. Uh, this one. constricted a little bit mm -hmm. all right i'm going to shine on this and look at that one okay indirect sorry i'm sorry and then we're going to try the left side or the right side and look at the left side all right you constricted that's good both direct and indirect <clears throat> And reaction to light is good so and we're going to check for the accommodation hold up a finger they should converge okay i'm going to hold up a finger and i'll keep coming close to you okay just look at the finger <laughs> I, I love the Are side. you sure you're submitting this video when you're not I am. just for your own amusement? Shush, I am. And it's good because you had cross eye. It was good. I imagine I did. <laughs> I like okay, so that's good. The eye is constricted and we're cross eye, which is the classical result we need. We want. All right, so moving over to the extraocular muscle function. This is the corneal light reflex. We're going to shine this and see if we can catch a twinkle in your eyes. Mm. Is it light? It's a flash. Let's go shine into both eyes. Okay. Look straight ahead. Yep. Hmm. That's nice. Two of them. I can see them both. My eyes? I hope so. No, the twinkle from the light and the flashlight. Okay, that's good. So let's move over to the diagnostic positions. We're going to do the six cardinal position. Okay, I'm going to move my hand in six directions. Follow it from. Don't move my head, but follow with my eyes. Yes, right. exactly. Uh, let me make sure the volume is high on this. 